health experts want better labelling on products after boutique dairy company Lewis Road Creamery's breakfast drinks were found to have three times more sugar than their label stated. Three times more. Lewis Road has since recalled the drinks which hit the supermarket shelves about a week ago. Our reporter Jesse Chang has more. The new breakfast drinks have about 9 grams of sugar per 100 millilitres, three times as much as the three grams stated on the label. Lewis Road Creamery says it discovered the mistake two days ago. Consumers on the streets of Auckland were divided on whether the company should have been more accurate. Because of New Zealand's high standards, I expect them to get it right. I think that brands these days, you know, are going to try and sell products the best they can um, and label things appropriately. And the breakfast market is quite a difficult market to break into and say that something's healthy, uh, going to energise you for the whole day. Um, I think by not labelling it correctly, they more did themselves a disfavour um, in this instance. Um, but I wouldn't deny that a lot of other other breakfast drinks have, you know, incorrect in labels as well. Mistakes happen um, and the great thing about what they've done is they've actually just been honest about it and said, you know what, we've made a mistake, we're recording the product and we're telling people why. Lewis Road Creamery founder Peter Cullinane says he's very sorry for the genuine error and the company has voluntarily removed the products from the shelves. We're doing more testing and um, we're also, um, you know, making sure we cross every I and dot every T. Um, so that, that the, the, the label is as accurate as it can possibly be. As it should have been to begin with, by the way, and so that was, you know, our mistake. Peter Cullinane says the labels only had information about added sugars and didn't count for the sugar that naturally occurs in milk. Our whole focus on this has been to produce a, you know, a dairy-based um, breakfast drink with minimum added sugar, and so all our attention has been, you know, on this minimum added sugar. Um, and I think in our zealousness to do that, we, you know, we overlook the fact that there is naturally occurring sugars, you know, as there are in you know, fruit and vegetables. But a professor of population nutrition and global health, Boyd Swinburne from Auckland University, says manufacturers need to improve the labelling. Well, we do rely on manufacturers to be accurate and correct in the labelling of their products in terms of ingredients and nutrient content. Uh, we don't want our food supply to be full of products that have inaccurate information. Boyd Swinburne says it's a rookie mistake by Lewis Road Creamery, but it's good they're taking responsibility. The Dental Association says it's not surprised by the mislabelling and it says labelling of sugar in general needs to improve. Its spokesperson Rob Beaglehall says current calculations are confusing for consumers. I think ideally uh, Lewis Road Creamery or any other companies sh should take it upon themselves to accurately highlight how many teaspoons of sugar are in their beverages. People do not understand grams, but people understand teaspoons. The Dental Association is lobbying for a labelling symbol, which tells consumers how many teaspoons of sugar a drink contains. Lewis Road Creamery says it will be a couple of weeks before the breakfast drinks are back in supermarkets, and it's confident its other products are all labelled correctly. For Checkpoint, call Jesse Chang a ho.